Welcome to the Amplichats tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to add and adjust chart decorators. The tutorial covers decorator formatting, kegas and series kegas, total and level difference, value line, connector lines, series shares, legend, and data tables. Most decorators include a line and a label. Both can be formatted to match the desired look. To change the formatting, select the line or the label and the format menu appears. From the format menu, you can change the font formatting, the fill color formatting and the outline. In this case, the line is selected and I update the thickness of the line style. Also, I can select the label and have no out on the label itself. Both label and line can be repositioned simply by selecting and dragging them. All decorators have different label settings. See the available label content types and number format in the various format menus. AmpliCharts allows you to add a Kega to your chart to show the compounded annual growth rate. To insert a Kega, right click on the chart and select Kega from the context menu. To change the start and end, select the Kega and drag the handles to the desired categories. You can add multiple Kegas simply by selecting more from contact menu. Kegas are automatically calculated and update whenever the, your data is updated. This is also true when you change data in the data sheet. The Kega is calculated on the column totals. Often it's also relevant to show the growth rate for specific series or multiple series. To add a series Kega, right click on the chart and toggle on series Kegas. If your chart has a legend, you can also have the series Kega shown in the legend. Simply right click after having selected the labels and hit add to legend. Total difference help to visualize the difference between the totals of two categories in a chart. To insert a total difference, right click on the chart and select total difference from the context menu. To change the categories, which are compared, simply drag the handles and the calculations will automatically update. Total difference can also be inserted by selecting specific segment points, right clicking and adding total difference. Mouse click on the line to have the calculation update or update the arrow direction from the menu. Level difference help to visualize the difference between two segments in a chart. To insert a level difference, right click on the chart and select level difference from the context menu. To change which segments are Compared, simply drag the blue handle to the desired location. Level difference can also be inserted by selecting specific segments. Select a specific segment by holding control before adding the level difference. Double click on 
the level difference to update the arrow directions and the calculation. To reposition the level difference, select it and drag to one of the different anchor locations. A value line helps visualize a value across categories. To insert a value line, right-click on the chart and select Value Line from the context menu. By default, the line is inserted at the average of the category totals. To change the line, drag to the desired position or use the arrow keys on your keyboard or right-click and select Set Value from the context menu. Double-click on the value line to have it revert back to the average. You can add multiple value lines from the context menu or by holding Control and dragging while the line is selected. From the context menu, you have options to remove the label and the arrow head from the value line. To emphasize the development across categories, you can add connectors. To add connectors, right-click on the chart and toggle on connector lines from the context menu. Remove unwanted connector lines by selecting them and hitting delete on the keyboard or from the context menu. Connector lines can also be inserted by selecting specific segments before adding them. To emphasize share of multiple series, you can add series shares. To add series shares, right click on the chart and toggle on series shares from the context menu. To change which series are included, select the series shares and drag the blue handle. Initially, all series shares are selected. To select only one, mouse click one more time on the desired series share, and now only this one is selected. Remove unwanted series shares by selecting them and hitting delete on the keyboard or from the context menu. Series shares can also be inserted by selecting specific segments before adding them. Legends can be added to all charts except Gantt charts. To add a legend, right-click on the chart and toggle on Legend from the context menu. When you add a legend, all other series labels are automatically removed. If you want to change the position of the legend, select the outer frame of the legend and drag to one of the anchor points on the outsides of the chart. When the legend is positioned in one of the anchor points, the legend will move along when you move the chart. Alternatively, you can select free float mode. To move the legend in free float mode, hold control and position the legend in the desired position. When you move the chart, the legend stays in the position. The legend can be resized by dragging the handles of the outer frame. When the outline frame is selected, the format menu is shown. From the format menu, you can change the formatting and the legend order. The legend can also be used to quickly format series. or to change the series type from one to another. 
right click on one of the series labels in the legend to open the context menu. From the menu, you have options to place next to the chart, add series characters to legend, show series and data table, hide series, move series to secondary access, or to delete the legend entry. Data tables are a great way of adding details to your chart. To add a data table, right click on the chart and toggle on data table. By default, all series are shown in the data table. Hover above the table or a specific row to see the orange frame. Select the data table or specific row to see the format menu. From the format menu, you can adjust the font, the alignment, the number format, and the data scale. When changing the data scale in the chart, the data table is also updated. However, when changing the data scale from the data table, the chart is not updated. Right click on a row to have the context menu shown. From the menu, you can select to toggle off, show series and chart. You can delete a, a row or delete the full data table. An alternative way to add series to a data table is to select and right click on a series and toggle on Show Series and Data Table. Afterwards, you can select Hide Series if you want to have it only shown in the data table. Thank you for watching. Please check out Ampler.io or YouTube for more videos and tutorials.